Today we're going to look at non-manifold geometry. I'm going to explain what it is, how to identify it, and how to fix it. I've been trying to think of the easiest way to explain non-manifold geometry. And um, I think the simplest way to explain it is, imagine you've got a, a shape, which is something like this, and when you go to slice or uh, prepare a model for um, for 3D printing or for any output for that matter you want to make sure that the the mesh is clean and free of any non-manifold geometry. Now um, the simplest way to determine whether a, an object or a mesh is going to be uh, right to print is if you can imagine uh, if you look at my cursor here if you can imagine that that cursor can travel around this this model um, as a solid all the way around uninterrupted and come back to the start and do it in one complete loop so you could trace around the exterior surface of this object in any direction and make a, a, a continuous continuous circuit around those faces and the mesh of that object now if you have non-manifold geometry non-manifold geometry is geometry which obstructs that flow or is geometry that say a slicer just can't deal with it's just it's just interfering with the flow of calculating uh, that mesh so if we switch back to here and I prepared a little exercise here now we have three objects uh, one has got non-manifold geometry and the other two are clean now, visually inspecting them as a surface or as a mesh, as a solid, you can't see where that non-manifold geometry is. Uh, if we slice through with a Boolean operation, you can see that's going to solve as a solid because it has no geometry inside it. This is going to solve as a solid. That looks clean as well. It has no geometry inside it. This mesh here I've actually modelled geometry inside that, but we're still getting a clean solve because if we think about that simple rule of being able to trace a surface and come back to the start without interference, if we look here, we can go around the outside, not a problem, come back, it's clean, and each each interior cavity we can do the same thing. The, um, the path can be traced and it's clean and there's no interference. We have solid geometry that can be calculated and can be solved quite uh, quite nicely by a slicer. So which one has non-manifold geometry? If we look at this one, and I've applied a solidify modifier to it, and we turn that on, we can see that's solving quite nicely. I've set the thickness to 1 millimeters, uh, turn up to 2 millimeters. You see the thickness is there. And that's working quite fine. Now this next one, if I turn the solidifier on, we can see we've got an issue. It should be, it's the identical solidifier to this mesh, and it should be solving an even thickness of one millimeter around that face, but it's not. So what's causing that? Well, if we switch to edit mode, and we switch to wireframe mode and have inspect our mesh I find the easiest way to detect uh, where non-manifold geometry is is to look at it in the face selection mode and you can see here we have this errant face which is just attached but not attached to anything not uh, forming any geometry it's just a face which is inside this mesh looks fine from the outside but it's here inside this mesh and that is causing uh, an issue with this boolean solver uh, trying to solve that that uh, sorry the solidify uh, modifier trying to solve that uh, solidify so if we were simply to delete that face actually I'll also turn on my screen cast key so you can see what I'm doing here uh, if we delete that face and now have a, look at, have a look at our solve you can see that it's um, 
much cleaner. Now we still have an issue here. I'm not sure why it's doing that. And ah, okay, high quality normals. It didn't have high quality normals turned on. That was a difference. Okay, so that's that was the difference there. High quality normals. So you can see um, by having a piece of non-manifold geometry inside that mesh then uh, it's going to cause issues. So that's how to deal with a non-manifold face in this situation. Now, let's have a look at these faces. We've got three objects, all look identical, but two have non-manifold edges. So what's happening here? Well, we know that a non-manifold edge is something that's happening inside our geometry or it's an additional face where it shouldn't be. Um, can you tell which of these two has non-manifold edges or non-manifold faces? Okay, let's have a look if we apply a subdivision surface modifier to this face. I'll bump it up to five. So we're getting exactly what we expected. We've got nice square polygons we're getting a nice smooth face on that geometry. That's looking really nice. Uh, a shortcut for adding a subdivision surface modifier to, to an object is Control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that will just automatically subdivide to those levels. So I'll go Control 5. Oh, now you see what's happening here? It's the same object, same shape, but we've got an issue. This will be a problem going to a slicer for 3D printing. Let's look at this one. Control 5. It's automatically applying the modifier and setting it the subdivisions to level 5. And here we have some pinching on the face. So that's a little bit different as well. It's not the same as this one, but uh, there's pinching. So these, this, this model here, this, this mesh here is clean. This mesh has issues and this mesh, uh, this mesh has issues. So let's, let's turn off our subdivision modifier on this mesh and just focus on that. And to do that, I just press the forward slash key on the numeric keyboard that focuses on, on an item. Press it again and it shows everything. So it's focus on a selected item. So I'm just going to focus on that. Swish, uh, switch. switch to edit mode. And let's look at our wireframe mode. And we're in polygons. And you can see inside this mesh is a row of faces that shouldn't be there. So if we select those faces we can and delete them, we should be able to clean up our mesh. So to, to select, you can select each face individually, shift select and select them all that way. Or uh, if you've got a, a big row of polygons you need to select, if you take your cursor to an edge in the middle of a row of polygons and just hold down the alt key right click it'll select as many of the faces as it can in that loop now it can't select these end two because they're terminating incorrectly in this mesh um, it can grab those there so it's just right click alt click right click uh, with holding the alt key down we'll select a loop of meshes so we'll grab these other two We'll delete those faces. I said meshes, but I meant faces. Um, and now let's have a look. We'll go back, switch out of edit mode, and apply our subdivision surface modifier again. And we now have a clean mesh. So that had non-manifold faces inside the mesh, which have now been cleaned up. Let's look at this one. And you can see here, we'll turn this off, we've got just two floating around and attached to the face of this mesh. They aren't spanning right across, they're just attached to a face. So let's delete those. And turn on our subdivision modifier. So we now have three clean meshes. So it's pretty easy to identify those um, faces once you know what you're looking for. But the best way to do it is if you're in um, face selection mode and wireframe, just pressing Z, turn off your uh, subsurf modifiers if you've got one applied, and they'll show up straight away. We can add we can add some non-manifold geometry. I'm just going to select these two edges 
and press F to fill and now if we have a look I've just added some non-manifold geometry delete that face it's clean again now the other thing you're going to strike um, when you're working with meshes and models like this is doubled vertices uh, and what doubled vertices are basically zero length um, faces so if we look at these two meshes here uh, one has doubled vertices and one is clean now um, we can't see from from looking at, at them like this let's apply a subdivision surface modifier they both look clean they both look fine if anything I'd say that this edge is just slightly curving in a, in a little bit uh, which it shouldn't be it should be uh, just straight through here and then curving back but you see it's just just getting a bit of a waste just pinching in a little bit and that's a, uh, an indication that something's not quite right um, so let's have a look at this this mesh here and we'll turn off our subsurf modifiers and switch to edit mode faces wireframe now looking at that mesh that looks quite all right let's join these two meshes together so we can look at them both at the same time in in um, edit mode and you can see here when I've got them both selected here's a little clue that something's not quite right see it's just clean through here even though it's got uh, a wireframe a wire uh, an edge sorry in um, edit mode in wireframe we can see the edge when you switch to object mode it's clean but this one in object mode we can still see that edge so that's a, that's an indicator that something's not quite right so let's um, join these two together control J they're now one object so when I switch to edit mode we can see them both at the same time and they both look pretty much the same except for I can see we've got polygon faces here now um, we shouldn't have polygon faces these are edges so there's there's edges and polygon faces you can see here we don't have that and that's why polygon face or the, the mesh face mode is is really really good which was my go-to method for identifying problems in meshes now um, how did that get there well there's two ways that you'll get um, doubled vertices and what that basically is what we're looking at here is zero length polygons or doubled vertices so if I switch to vertex mode and I select this ver vertice you can see here the orange line spans away from that vertice in every direction if I select this one it only goes in one direction that's telling me that it's not connected and if I press G and move it you can see we actually have one vertice on top of another that one's clean this one's got a problem so um, if I box select and select a box around this vertice I'll A, deselect everything first box select and look up here you can see it's saying I've got two vertices of 28 selected if I box select this one select this one I've got one vertice so what's happened is we have got double vertices and this this is caused by by two um, two main ways that this can be caused uh, one is as a result of a boolean operation I always find that if I do a boolean operation I need to, to check for um, doubled vertices and the other way is if you're uh, modeling like a madman and you're extruding creating new faces um, if I control click I can extrude out this way um, and just keep extruding so you're when you're modeling in, in blender you're often often extruding and, and creating new new shapes and and um, building your models that way and what can happen is if you uh, hit E for extrude I'm just going to move that that's clean if you hit E for extrude and don't move the face and hit enter then hit E again it looks like it's all fine but what you've actually done is you've introduced uh, see here 
again we've introduced those zero length polygons and doubled vertices. So I can, if I hold the Alt key down and select, right click on this edge, I can select that and then you see I can move it up and now we've got geometry which is that geometry we created when we hit the extrude. Now you see if I move it the wrong way it's going to cause errors in the mesh. So how do we clean those up, those uh, zero length polygons or doubled vertices? The simple way to do it is to switch into edit mode, switch to vertex mode, select all your vertices, w, press W for to bring up this shortcut menu and remove doubles. Now you can see up here it's removed eight vertices and this may be set to one millimeter by default and that's just a resolution of where it's going to scan for vertices, neighboring vertices. I like to just grab that and drag it all the way down to, it could be zero depending on what your scale set to, in my case it's 10 UM. Um, and then it's going to make sure that it's the vertices that are basically one on top of the other are the only vertices it's going to remove. So now I've cleaned that mesh up and we've removed our doubles. So now that should be behaving um, correctly. And if we switch to uh, wireframe mode, you can see we, we no longer have those edges spanning through uh, that, that mesh. So I think uh, that's pretty well covered. It. Um, if we're dealing with uh, non-manifold faces or, or edges uh, or zero length faces, uh, it's really simple. Just, just uh, check, put a subdivision modifier onto your mesh, have a look, see if there's any pinching. Um, that'll help uh, identify where those problem issues are. And then switch to edit mode, switch to face selection mode, and you'll see that little that little dot will appear in the, in the middle of a face wherever there's a face inside your geometry and you, and you can't have faces inside your geometry when you get a slice that's going to cause all sorts of issues so uh, i think that'll do it for this one so thanks very much for watching i hope um, this has helped you uh, if you have any questions just uh, shoot them in the comments below and i'll try to an answer them if there's enough of the same type of question then i'll make another video so thanks again for watching and i'll catch you later Thank you.